welcome to the studio session for this month. I'm working on my second piece for my solo show that's coming up in the summer. And I have so much painting to do, guys. I really do appreciate you guys uh, popping in and checking out and seeing how the progress is coming along. I'm using acrylics, and these are actually called soft body liquitex. And I bought a whole box of these, and it was a whole like set of new colors that I had never really explored. And I, I think it just gave a whole new bright, wonderful look to the new paintings. So I felt like I freshened up my palette. And um, right now I'm doing some textural work, um, just making these little leaves look interesting and doing some blending on them. And um, since this is the second one and the other one is completed, I'll be looking at the other one to kind of get some similar features so they are cohesive with each other. So I'll be adding in some similar things from the other painting into this one. And right now I'm just working on really fleshing out the painting, putting in some details and it really still has a lot of work to do but I am making a lot of progress today Right now I'm putting in a lot of the turquoise leaves, which are reminiscent of some of the plant life in the other painting. And just plodding along on this one, I'm going to be adding some of those, what people are calling the avocado or <laughs> olive shapes. And I'm going to look up that plant and see what the heck it is. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be adding some more of those and just kind of filling in the canvas and all the things that need to be completed and finished. Now I'm starting to put in the avocado or olive shape things. <laughs> that um, Yeah, I'm going to look up what that is. I want to know because they're intriguing to me and that's why I started painting them. So I do want to figure out what is that um, starting to move towards the top of the canvas I've noticed sometimes I'll start at the bottom and then move towards the top sometimes I'll start on the right and then move towards the left and yeah it's just different for every canvas um, I feel like there needs to be some darkness and weight up there some growth and plants so I'm gonna be putting in some leaves and foliage. So it's really important to me um, on these gallery, on gallery wrap canvases to Go around the edge and paint the edge and finish the edge so that if your um, collector doesn't want to frame them, they stand on their own just beautifully with the edges painted and finished. Or if they want to frame them, they can, but this way they have the option. Framing, framing is very expensive and these look beautiful without frames. Um, they also look beautiful with frames, so it's just a nice option. But I really do enjoy seeing the edges painted and wrapped around. It just looks complete to me. I try to remember to do that as I'm painting, as opposed to forgetting the edges and then having to go find the colors, remix the colors, and try to continue. So it's easier to do it while you're painting, if you can remember. <laughs> 
is kind of a little overview of what I've been doing today. Moving towards the top now. And this is just going to be the rest of the process of me just seeing what part of the canvas needs some plants, some foliage, and adding that in. really wanting both of these paintings to be very dense, like you're in the, like the undergrowth of a little area, and um, just feel kind of like an, an interior little space instead of just a big outdoors, um, less airy, but with some space to breathe, but feeling more like a little interior, even though you're outside. as I go. The bottom will probably paint it after the painting is done because I can't really get to it. I'm just going to keep painting until this is done. Thanks you guys for watching. I love having you in my studio. It's almost there.